Good morning to all of my CLS friends. I'm glad to see you again for another story time. I don't know about you, but late, lately I've been feeling a little bit scared. There's been a lot of things to be worried about. I'm scared about being away from you and away from school and wondering when we're going to get to see each other again. There's been some big storms. There's been lots of changes for our family. And sometimes even grown-ups get a little scared. So today I have a story to share with you called Bear Feels Scared. Bear's tummy growls as he looks for a snack, but it's cold, 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 so the bear turns back. He is not home yet when the sun starts to set, and the bear feels scared. Bear shakes and he shivers as a storm starts to howl. Bear mutters, what is that? Are there spooks on the prowl? Poor bear looks so scared there in the woods. The path gets dimmer and the sky grows gray. Bear looks to and fro, but he can't find his way. He huddles by a tree and he wails, poor me. And the bear feels scared. Meanwhile, back in the warm, cozy lair, friends start to worry for their poor lost bear. It is late, Mouse squeaks, and our bear doesn't roam. There's a storm, cries Hare. Shouldn't bear be home? Wren tweets from his perch. We must all go search. What if bear feels scared? The friends bundle up and begin to prepare. They form a search party for their lost friend bear. But bear is all alone and he sheds big tears. There's a noise in the forest, and he feels big fears. Bear trembles in the wind, how he longs for a friend, and the bear feels scared. Badger lights a lamp, and he shouts, let's go. All the birds search high, while the rest search low. With a flounce and a flutter, they set off together. They trudge down the trail, through the wild, wet weather. They call, Ho Bear, are you there? Are you there? And the bear feels scared. But he perks up his ears. Is it Mole calling out? And is that Hare's voice? Does Bear hear him shout? Wren, Owl, and Raven all squawk from the sky. It is Bear, he is there. And they sigh. Big size. By a tree waits bear, 10 feet from his lair, and the bear looks scared. With a flap and flurry, all the friends gather near. They give him bear hugs, they calm his bear fears. Later in the night, all clustered in a heap, the bear spins stories while his friends fall asleep. Cuddled up tight, they snore through the night, and the bear feels safe. Just like when bears are afraid, when we're afraid, we can find people who can help. You can look for moms and dads, grandpa or grandma, maybe your brother or sister, maybe you have a dog or a cat or a bunny you like to hold. But more importantly than that, you can know that Jesus is always with you. When I feel scared, I can take time to pray and I can tell God what I'm worried about and he reassures me through his word and he reassures me through the love and kindness of the people around me. So if you're feeling kind of scared and worried during this time, look for the helpers around you who can give you hugs, who can listen, and make sure you spend your time praying and talking to God because when we're scared, he's always there. And until I can see you again, know that we love you and miss you very much. Talk to you soon.